If you are into SUVs, then 2025 will be a good year for you. Why? Well, two words, new SUVs. So aside from the existing fleet of SUVs available in your dealerships right now, there are still newcomers that will make your eyes pop, for good reasons, of course. Hello, everyone. This is Ted from Carland TV. It's time to get in the front seat, as today, I am going to unveil all the highly anticipated SUVs that are expected to hit the market in 2025. Before I start, I would really appreciate it if you would push those buttons below, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all of them. I do not require you to do so, but you would make me smile and push me to give you more valuable car-related content on your screen. Now buckle up and let's get back to the video. BMW Vision No E Classe BMW is about to go full electric by introducing new electric SUVs for 2025. It was actually a couple of months ago when the company launched the Vision No E Classe X, and ever since people have been keeping tabs on the progress of this platform. So what you need to know right now is that the Vision is not just one SUV. I am not just certain of the numbers, but this is going to be a studded fleet of all-electric crossovers. It might also include the future model for the X3, and as far as I know, the X3 has been instrumental in the design ethos of the Vision Noia Classe. It's already confirmed that these SUVs will use the 6th Gen BMW eDrive system and an 800 volt setup, which guarantees a balance of performance and efficiency. Their ride quality should be smooth and responsive, blending precise handling with a quiet, seamless electric power delivery for a luxurious driving experience. Jeep Recon The upcoming Jeep Recon is a unique case, given that it's an electric SUV that is meant to do off-roading tricks, such as climbing trucks or rolling over mud. Well, say what you want about electric vehicles, but it seems that the auto industry in 2025 is about to get electrified. The Jeep Recon, although not the most prolific of the bunch, is still prolific enough to attract attention. The Recon will likely sport similarities with the plug-in hybrid Jeep Wrangler 4XE, with the exception, of course, that this new SUV is fully electric. Based on reports, the Recon is a mid-size SUV that comes with features that can make an impression, such as its easy-to-remove doors and power-folding rooftop. To put things into context, no other SUVs in the Jeep fleet have those features except for the Wrangler and Bronco. That alone tells that the Recon won't just be a run-of-the-mill electric SUV. Previews of this SUV have revealed that it has a boxy yet rugged-looking architecture, with the seven-slot front grille being one of its head-turning exterior elements. And based on the images alone, it's safe to assume that the Recon will have a tailgate-mounted spare tire. But the rest of the key details, such as its powertrain, battery size, or range, haven't been revealed yet. But don't worry. I'll stick around to give you an update, so you better subscribe to the channel. KIA EV3 The EV3, once it arrives, will eventually become the smallest electric SUV of Kia, and that's a big deal, especially for those who want to transition from sedan to SUV. In particular, this thing is positioned next to the Kia EV6 and EV9. Now, don't think that the EV3 is just redundant. Based on the measurements that were provided, the EV3 is about 14 inches shorter than the EV6. At the same time, its layout is inspired by the EV9, so there's a clear distinction between the EV3 and EV6. There aren't that many details when it comes to the powertrain of the EV3, but I already confirmed that its standard single-motor, front-wheel drive configuration will utilize a 58.3 kilowatt-hour battery. Meanwhile, its long-range variant should offer an 81.4 kilowatt-hour battery, and this is the one that guarantees at least 300 miles on its range. Reports reveal that the EV3 will arrive in the United States in 2025, but it's not yet certain when it's going to pop out. What's sure right now is that there's a good chance that this vehicle will have a base price of around $30,000 or so. If you are curious, then yes, there's also this thing called the EV5 EV, and Kia is currently developing that one already. However, it won't be available for purchase here in the U.S., so your next best bet is either the EV3 or EV6. Either way, I don't think you'll be disappointed by any of them. Land Rover Range Rover EV One of the more expensive upcoming SUVs in 2025 is the fully electric version of the Range Rover. 
It has an estimated price of around $120,000, so it's not really for everyone's pocket. Now, the electric Range Rover didn't actually depart from the design ethos of the original Range Rover. It's still designed for the affluent, offers a luxurious theme, and ensures an off-roading demeanor. Even its appearance didn't actually change that much. It's distinctly similar to its gas-only predecessor. However, what really changed is that it will be equipped with a plethora of electric motors. Land Rover also affirmed that its powertrain is going to compete with the performance and output of the V8 Range Rover. It's also worth noting that this electric SUV will be using a multi-link suspension system. This setup, as the reports have mentioned, would help minimize the space for its wheel articulation. Without being too technical about it, this system gives more room for the rear wheel steering and battery. At the very least, you can guarantee that its interior is spacious. I like to speculate more about the Range Rover EV, but most of its important details are still shrouded in mystery. So what we can do right now is to wait until the on-sale date is near. In the meantime, you might want to start saving for this burly, highly capable electric SUV. Cadillac Optic One of the upcoming SUVs in 2025 that I am personally excited about is the Cadillac Optic. This is actually a brand new small electric crossover and perhaps the smallest in the entire Cadillac SUV fleet. One of the things that you need to know about this new kid is that it has the same underpinnings and all-wheel drive powertrain as the electric Chevrolet Equinox. What this means is that Equinox EV ensures that the Cadillac Optic benefits from reduced development costs. At the same time, this also gives Optic access to GM's advanced Ultium battery and drivetrain technology and proven engineering reliability while still offering Cadillac's distinct upscale features and luxury interiors. As far as what has been confirmed, the Optic will have two motors that can output up to 300 horsepower. Its 85 kilowatt hour battery, on the other hand, can achieve up to 300 miles of all electric range per single charge, according to Cadillac. In terms of appearance and performance, I am still down to bet my money on the electric Celestique and Escalade IQ. However, if you want to trim your spending without compromising your satisfaction, the Optic is an SUV worth waiting for. Hyundai Ioniq 9 I can't remember exactly when the 7 concept was released, but the point is that the proposed new Hyundai platform has been floating around for quite some time. Based on the initial introductions, the SUV platform will have an upscale interior and an appropriately powered setup with its all-electric powertrain. It was just recently that I learned that this thing would be named the Ionic 9. Rumors suggest that the Ionic 9 will be the same size as the Hyundai Palisade, which, if this is the case, would mean that the Ionic 9 will also be a three-row SUV. But of course, the two won't share the same platform, as the Ionic 9 will be around the cross-brand eGMP platform, which Hyundai shares with Kia. From what I've seen, the Ionic 9 has a stylistic layout, with design elements that are downright distinct from its counterparts, such as its glass panels, wheels, and lighting appointments. At first, you wouldn't really think this architecture is plausible or too complicated to materialize, but apparently, Hyundai is on its way to making it possible in the Ionic 9, and that's something we all want to look forward to. Also, Hyundai promised that the Ionic 9 would have an electric range of 300 miles, and to top that, charging times that wouldn't make you yawn. And that completes this list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps the channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely.